you have to spend money to make money. While not always true for consumers, it always is for businesses. But how much money should you spend? And how much do you get in return for each dollar spent? To answer these questions, you need to understand ROAS. ROAS, or return on ad spend, is one of the most important metrics for online advertisers. Essentially, ROAS answers the fundamental marketing question. If I put X amount of money into this marketing channel, what will I get back out? This is important because marketing is an investment. If a marketing channel isn't paying profitable dividends, it isn't worth the investment. Unlike some marketing calculations, it's fairly easy to figure out your ROAS. Here's the formula. Revenue minus cost divided by cost. Easy enough, right? You take the total revenue generated by the marketing component you want to evaluate, subtract what you paid to run your ads, and divide the result by your ad spend. If your online advertising isn't producing revenue, you need to change something. If you aren't tracking ROAS, you won't know where you need to make changes. Is this whole ROAS thing starting to make sense? Good. Now here's a quick rule of thumb. If your ROAS is below 3 to 1, rethink your marketing. You're probably losing money. At a 4 to 1 ROAS, your marketing is turning a profit. Now, if your ROAS is at a 5 to 1 or higher, things are working pretty good. If you're accurately tracking your online marketing efforts through to the sales they generate, calculating ROAS is pretty easy. And how you use your ROAS data can have a huge impact on your business. For a detailed analysis of ROAS, check out our blog article on this topic via the link below. And, as always, if you found this helpful, like, subscribe, and comment. <laughs>